Brickineers presents a VexIQ Autonomous Robot Build video. The Autonomous Robot is the second build from the VexIQ Super Kit and it operates around the room in three search patterns without human control. Let's get started. The entire video is at 8 times speed. The entire build took us about 48 minutes. First, we start off with the chassis and we put motors on some beams and you can see us comparing parts on the poster which gives us exact dimensions of axles and beams and other parts that we need to find. Notice we have a bowl of water handy. We dip all the parts, the connectors, the, some of the beams, if they fit, the axles and the gears because they're very very difficult to put on. They're new the tolerances are very tight, which is good because it means they will last a long time. Small boys or girls would not be able to assemble this robot without the lubrication provided by the water. And now for some music while we work. Here I'm comparing parts to the chart. The parts tray is very well organized and well thought out. It really helped us to go straight into building the robot after we unboxed it. By the time we finish this robot, most of the parts have dried. This is the part where things are a little confusing, so pay careful attention to the instructions and the pictures. Just an observation, but I have to say after building the Clawbot and the Autonomous Robot from the Vex IQ Super Kit, I found it much easier and much faster than building the Mindstorms EV3. As we were building these robots, it dawned on me that the plates and the beams and all the parts in the VEX IQ system were designed specifically for the robots right from the start. This is in contrast to perhaps what LEGO did with the Mindstorms by using toy parts from the Technic series to create a robot. We are now more than halfway through the video and we're ready to put together the chassis. Now we just have to add the sensors, connect them to the brain, and we have to add some more of the beams, especially for the bumpers at the back. It truly is amazing how much movement there is when you're building a robot. Bye. Mm -hmm. 
The front of the robot has a color sensor, ultrasonic sensor, and touch LED, and a gyro. The rear of the robot will have bumper sensors. The touch LED is used to select one of three search patterns. The robot will go around the room and bump into things and reverse its direction and keep the search patterns going. It's just a demo program, but it's fun to watch. And we are done. Now we're going to compare the autonomous robot with the clawbot that we built before. And there you have it, the clawbot and the autobot side by side. Please watch our upcoming videos to see them in action. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Thank you for watching. Happy Brickaneering!